This video shows how to change a value field uh, to a field which uh, shows an entry. Now this is a small database where, where I have uh, <coughs> where I have ID values that's a, from a base table. So this is the base table. There are persons in there and they have uh, special information informations there like uh, the name, which size and all that stuff. This is uh, written in English, uh, German, but it's the same in English. Uh, so <coughs> I have here a, a table with a running ID and in here we have um, the first entry which is an ID number and the second one is as a tr uh, shown as a drop-down field, as a combo field. So this is the second table and we also have here an ID number and but I want to show it as a combo box. So what have we to do there? We have to go to the draft or to uh, design view. Then we go to this field where there is a number. This is a number, number long integer. And then we go to the lookup uh, control there. And we will say uh, here we want a combo box. So this is a selection box and uh, normally this is en uh, empty at the beginning. So we will select this stuff. I know in this case I need the base data uh, of these uh, gamers, uh, players. And I add this one and I will say, okay, the first field is the ID field. This is the, the first stuff and I need maybe all the other stuff. And I sort uh, by ascending of the name. Now I close this stuff and remember the first point, uh, first value is this one uh, column is the the ID number, but I don't want to see the ID number anymore. And now we say, okay, <coughs> give me uh, the column count is in this case, let's say five. And I want the first column, the first column should be zero column width. This is a plural. So I would, <coughs> would say this one is uh, zero centimeters then I need <coughs> two centimeters and when I uh, doesn't enter anything else then only those uh, stuff will be <coughs> will be entered and if there's nothing written there then it's also default so now when I change this uh, and column heads column heads is uh, is activated to true so we, what we see now is uh, da -da -da. The, when we uh, have now this uh, first field, so this is the first entry of this uh, column heads, uh, column heads uh, here, column width is zero. When I say, okay, this is one, then we will see the the database will show uh, the first field of this combo box. So this is the combo box and this is the first field. Now, what else is there to do? We have here uh, the column, uh, here the list width is let's say uh, it's always cut down at the at the border of this column so we will say okay this is 10 centimeters and now when I open this again now we see the, the range of this drop down field will be a bit longer and still there is <coughs> the first value there and we will say okay the first row the first row is zero and then it changed that's a big trick now uh, now I may select when I click on there then a uh, pull down uh, element will be shown and I may, uh, may drop uh, select another value there like this one escape back and uh, the big uh, the big advantage of this is also that when I have entered this stuff in the in the table itself and I create now a new um, a new form, blank form like this. They would say, okay, here, uh, the design view, go there to the data record set. The record set should be this uh, first table, table which we had on uh, just before. Now, when I select this one and when I go here to my uh, add existing field, then I select the ID base field which we have had there. Then you will see uh, it will be inserted as a drop down field. So when we have this one, and uh, maybe 
let's do it as a um, here as let's show it not as a single form but as a data series split form continuous form then you will see we have now those drop down fields we didn't do anything else the system took those uh, presets and implemented these presets into the uh, into my form so this is a uh, pretty good stuff from Microsoft and I hope I could help you on that point